Yo. So it has been a while since I have put myself on camera. I haven't been ready yet for some reason. I guess I was just in a state where I was truly just being my introvert self and recentering and really finding what I need to find and here I'm back and I feel this fire within me like I'm so fired up right now <sighs> I just want to explode and what exactly I haven't really simplified this down or really found the core of the reason but I'm trying my best and this whole situation this is a second isolation here in Melbourne and it's really getting me like okay I guess the universe is saying that slow down there's more time what do I want is what I'm feeling and what I'm thinking is like what do I truly want what is my goal in all of this and honestly there is so much I want to say and so much I want to share and I've been trying to refocus on things that I can and should be and yeah <laughs> yo I honestly am in a pickle because financially I'm like Spiritually, however, and my love life is pretty like. And in this situation, I'm really getting to see the truth of friendship and relationships in general. I am finding so much appreciation for my family during this time. Um, you know, I have not been around and honestly, I'm not around as much as I should be now. But with the whole COVID, I really don't want to put my family at risk, especially what I've been doing. Like I put myself out on the streets, sharing my energy, trying to give out this calmness. And it's like, yo, it's so good, you know, like it will happen, it will happen. Death is a natural thing that we should all surrender to and embrace and realize it's the inedible. And that's at least what I've come to. Yeah. Um, so, moving on to the topics. Whew. I would like to speak about fear. Fear in this situation of COVID, it is, it's always been a thing in the matrix that the system is using fear against us to keep us control when at bay but we are all awakening up we are having this opportunity to wake up and realize what is it that we truly want what is it that we we are here for and it's much more than what we are made to believe and this is each individual's path to realize and discover oneself drop the fear drop the doubt and and go for what you want you know what i mean in the sense of your dreams your passion i have come to allow my thoughts to flow through i see the light and i also see the darkness we have a choice to be standing in where we want to be and it's all about self-control self-discipline self-love and self-care that will take us to the next level of our journey it's a great big shift happening we all feel it we all know it you know why because we all want change we want something of unity, of peace, of love. What's with all this separation? 
What's with all this inequality? What's with the monarchy? This is our earth. This is our home. We are all born here. In this world. Where else are we supposed to go if, if we are denied for our space and for our, our, ourselves? You know, I, I'm so fired up. Sometimes I really just want to and you have no idea how loud I can be like I am up. <laughs> My point is COVID is a sign. Okay, I know there's a lot of conspiracies around this, but let's look at it on a this perspective. Mother Earth, her, her system, just like our body, our organs, our system, her system is not functioning as well because we have taken so much resources. We have created so much beautiful things, but at the same time, it's mindless. We are creating certain things that is just like polluting the rivers and that is the veins of her body, the veins of our body. Imagine us polluting it. Of course we're going to get sick. And this is a sign from Earth that she can't contain us if we keep continuing. And if we don't listen, it's just going to get worse and it's just going to mutate just like our body if it can't fight the bacteria that is that infection slowly it decays this is our internal self is the reflection of our external world we are what we eat we are earth and if we don't feel that spiritually just yet look around your home your clothes what you eat it's all from earth it's all from shim shim is giving us so much that we are not giving back and so you know this is this is a sign from shim and if we're not listening it's shim doesn't want us to go shim loves us as a child, as her children. But the thing is, Shim is, Shim gotta do what Shim gotta do with, to survive, just like our body gotta do what it gotta do to survive. If not, it just. <sighs> with this video, um, I just want to speak about the shift that the whole world is going. We genuinely want change. Change not just for the better of Earth, our home, but for humanity. You know, we're at the point of this is new way. We are okay now. We have everything we need. We can now you know for with the wealthy countries we can now give back to the poorer countries and help develop their countries and with our own countries we we can be investing in new ways in new in new sites there is just so much possibilities and so much beauty that we can create without damaging further humans and uh, This is all about education and the system. What, uh, what's happening? What's, what's going on? Why are we doing things the way we are still doing a hundred years ago? This is a time that we can actually realize, wait a moment. We can invest in new things. And that's what I hope 
for everyone to realize and as a collective it will help that we find balance within ourselves and that's where it all begins in here i hope uh, i hope that i'm making some sort of sense i will try to break down my language to a more understandable way i guess because i'm a bit always had been since a child um this is probably why i was having trouble learning in school because i've always felt everything i've always saw everything i always knew not everything but i always knew <laughs> 